Hello, my name is Dr. Mayur Kumar. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist and interventional endoscopist. Today, I'd like to talk about management of dysphagia secondary to esophageal cancer. Dysphagia can be a very debilitating symptom for patients and leads to significant weight loss and malnutrition. These pictures show some examples of patients with strictures secondary to esophageal cancer. Unfortunately, majority of patients present with severe dysphagia and have inoperable cancer. Palliation of dysphagia using metal esophageal stents is becoming the treatment of choice with good clinical outcomes. The European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy recommends placement of partially or fully covered self-expanding metal stents for palliative treatment of malignant dysphagia over laser therapy, photodynamic therapy or an esophageal bypass. Deploying metal stents endoscopically is fairly easy and a wide variety of stents are available. Unfortunately, stent migration and tumour in growth are potential risk we encounter when we use self-expanding metal stents and rates can be as high as 10 to 20 percent. In this scenario, the novel NITS Taiwan double esophageal stent is very useful with minimal risk of stent migration due to its unique outer uncovered mesh which prevents stent migration and an inner covered silicon membrane which prevents tumour in growth as demonstrated in this animation. There is meta-analysis evidence which supports the efficacy of the stent with very low complication rates of less than 5%. The NITS stents are easily deployable under endoscopic and fluoroscopy guidance as demonstrated in this video case. This video shows a 75-year-old patient who presented with dysphagia secondary to advanced esophageal cancer. The stricture was not traversable using a standard gastroscope. A small amount of contrast was injected to delineate the length of the stricture under fluoroscopy. Proximal and distal markers were placed to guide stent deployment. The stent was then deployed under fluoroscopy guidance as demonstrated in this video. Post-deployment, the stent appears to be in satisfactory position. The patient was able to tolerate soft diet within 24 hours of stent deployment. We have used the 90 years double esophageal stent in 20 patients so far and not a single stent has migrated. No serious adverse events have been reported in our cohort of patients. We would recommend the use of the Taiwan 90 years double esophageal stent in patients with distal malignant esophageal structures to avoid complications such as tumour ingrowth and stent migration. Thank you.